Hey everyone, it's Fentoni. Game of Thrones Season 8 actor Vladimir Ferdick, who plays the Night King, was asked about his character and he's given some massive details on what the Night King wants. He was asked, what does the Night King want? He says, somebody made him the Night King, nobody knows who he was before, a soldier or part of nobility. He never wanted to be the Night King, I think he wants revenge. Everybody in the story has two sides, a bad side and a good side. The Night King only has one side, a bad side. So remember guys, we have seen the origin of the Night King. He was a member of the First Men taken by the Children of the Forest. They tied him to a tree, forced him to become the Night King in some sort of ritual. They placed Dragonglass into his heart and the man's eyes turned blue. The children were at war with the first men, the first men were chopping down all the weirwood trees, the children of the forest were desperate, and they created the ultimate weapon, the Night King. We know very little about what happened after he was created. It seems at some point the Night King has to turn on the children, but the next question is massive. Vladimir Ferdick was asked, what can we expect from the Night King in the final season? He says, people will see he has a target he wants to kill, and you will find out who that is. There's also that moment in Hard Home where Jon Snow was on the boat and the Night King looked at him and raised his arms. There's a similar and even stronger moment between Jon and the Night King this time. So the Night King has a target and he wants to kill them. So is that why he's on the move now? Is that why the White Walkers have returned? And is that why he wants to go down south? To kill somebody, his target. But who is this target? Is it Jon Snow? Is it Daenerys Targaryen? Is it Bran Stark or someone else? The scene of Jon Snow at Hardhome was mentioned and we're getting a very similar but even stronger moment between Jon and the Night King in Season 8. Does that mean that Jon is the target and he wants to kill Jon? It's obvious the Night King's interested in Jon at Hardhome. Jon was able to kill one of the White Walker lieutenants and the Night King was watching that. And then you've got the iconic moment when he raises his arms. That kind of felt like a challenge to Jon Snow. He's like, I know who you are, I've seen what you've done, look what I can do. But it seems like the Night King could have killed Jon beyond the wall in season 7. Yeah, Jon falls into the ice and the Night King just moves away. That whole sequence was a bit strange to me. It seemed like the Night King could have killed Jon and his friends at any time, but he seemed like he was just waiting. Maybe waiting for a dragon. As there's lots of theories the Night King was waiting on Danny arriving to kill one of the dragons and use it to cross the wall. Honestly, the Night King's still a big mystery, but it seems like he's connected to Jon Snow somehow. A lot of people think that Jon Snow and the Night King are going to go one on one. We know the Battle of Winterfell happens in Episode 3 and it's going to be the biggest battle in the show's history and supposedly any battle that's ever been filmed before. If they're going to have a one on one moment similar to the moment they had at Hardhome when the Night King raises his arms, could this be at this Battle of Winterfell? Maybe the Night King defeats Jon in battle and raises more dead, including Jon Snow's friends. That would make it much more stronger, you know, because it's not just, you know, random wildlings. It's people from Winterfell, people that Jon Snow knows. And what about Daenerys? It seems that like the Night King was waiting on her arriving to save Jon as he wanted a dragon to cross the wall. I actually think the Night King has very similar powers to Bran Stark. Obviously he's got all these powers of necromancy or whatever you want to call it, powers over ice. But it seems like he's a green seer as well. I actually think the Night King's been watching everything play out. And that's why he's returned now. He knows these people are out there. He knows his targets out there. I think he's been watching Daenerys' dragons grow, waiting for them to come to Westeros so he can use one of them to cross the wall. But he's also been watching Jon Snow and he knows about his parentage. Wouldn't it be cool if we see some older scenes from the earlier seasons, you know, they can play them again, but they add the Night King in the background. Some sort of montage showing the Night King's powers. He's using the Weirwood Network to watch everyone throughout the entire series' history. For instance, when Danny's dragons were born, when Jon Snow was born, when Jon Snow was killed, when Danny lands in Westeros. All these iconic moments. But what happens if the target's actually Bran Stark? Bran seems like the most logical target. He is the Free-Eyed Raven now, and it was revealed in the Season 4 Episode 10 script that Night King places whites outside of the Free-Eyed Raven's cave to stop the next Free-Eyed Raven getting there. And if Bran and the Night King have similar powers, why would Bran not be the target? Maybe he's a threat to the Night King, and there's actually theories they might even be the same person. He's interacted with Bran before inside of a weird vision, so they have to have very similar powers. He touched him and he was able to track him and break the magic of the Free Raven's cave. And it seems like he knows and Bran uses his powers. When Bran warged into the Ravens to go north of the wall to find the Night King, the Night King was able to knock Bran out of the Ravens. Honestly, this is crazy news. What the Night King wants has always been a massive mystery. I hope Season 8 explains it and it looks like it is. I was getting worried that it was going to be saved for the prequel series, which is going to deal with the true origin of the White Walkers. 
but it seems like in season 8 we're going to find out what the Night King wants. He has a target, he's there to kill someone, but I don't think the Night King's just 100% evil. We were told the Night King never wanted to become the Night King, he was taken by force and turned by the children against his will. We're told he wants revenge and he's targeting someone. Vladimir Furek does say the Night King only has a bad side. A lot of people are criticising this saying the Night King's a very one dimensional villain now. But maybe that's because he was forced to become the Night King. He never wanted to be like this. Everything was taken from him. He might have had a family. As for the Night King's personality, Vladimir says every director has a different vision of how to play him. Dan and Dave want him to be like a cold man. Some of the directors want him to show there's more human inside of him. And they ask him not to blink. Literally the Night King has a heart of ice. He's been referred to as death several times and he is coming. I cannot wait for the Battle of Winterfell. But I want to hear what you think. Who do you think the Night King's target is? Bran Stark, Jon Snow, Daenerys Targaryen or maybe someone else? Obviously Bran being the Fred Raven makes the most sense but he's clearly connected to Jon Snow somehow and he's going to have another moment of him and you can't forget about Daenerys. Her dragons seem to be, you know, return of magic to the world. Honestly, we don't know, but I can't wait to find out. Just give us season 8 already. So I'm pretty much caught up with all the breaking Game of Thrones news. I've still got more videos to do on the trailer. If you guys have got any requests for the trailer or any other Game of Thrones videos, just let me know. Anyways, guys, remember to leave your thoughts in the comments below and then subscribe and like the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.